Good morning, good morning. How are you doing? I hope you slept well. I woke up around 6. I set the alarm at 7.30 yesterday, but apparently it didn't go off. But luckily, I woke up naturally at 6. So I had about 8 hours of sleep. Whew. Feeling good, feeling rested, ready for the day. Oh, it's so nice. I think it's good to, you know, hype yourself up especially in the morning. I think morning is one of the most important part of the day. If your morning goes well, most of the times, the rest of the day goes well as well. Start your morning off positive, energetic. I made myself a coffee. Mm. So good. I know coffee is not the best thing to drink. It's just my guilty pleasure. I'm excited for the day. Going to quickly read one page of this, like always, and nine pages of this. Halfway there, let's go. 22 minutes more to go. Feeling good. Let's get it. Let's go. 45 minutes, 7 kilometers. All right, so I just got back from running. I ate my breakfast. Just eat some sampa with tea. I had a great run. I was listening to Modern Wisdom with Chris Williamson and the guest was Alex Hormozzi. Very interesting episode. I learned a lot. A lot of life lessons in there. If you're on your journey, you know, if you have goals and dreams, I would highly recommend you check out that episode. With running, because I have to run 45 minutes for 75 days, I decided to run slow, right? And it's very good for building your aerobic base. And I'm slowly trying to pick up the pace. When I started the challenge, the first day, I ran about eight minutes per kilometer, right? And then I picked up the pace little by little and then went up to 7.30 and then seven minutes per kilometer and then 6.50, 6.40. And if you run at that pace, you do about, you know, six kilometers in 45 minutes. And today I picked up a little bit more of the pace and I did seven kilometers in 45 minutes without you know breathing heavily I was constantly breathing through my nose and not through my mouth so I think it's good to do like running in zone 2 you know building your aerobic base I've heard that they say like 80% of the runs you have to do it in zone 2 slow easy runs and then 20% of the runs you can do are fast ones to improve your speed. So my goal is to slowly pick up the pace without breathing heavily or getting tired, keeping it an easy run because I don't want any injuries that will hold me back from completing the 75 hard challenge. So I'm being careful with that. And I can see like I started running this year, right? And I can remember the first time when I ran about six kilometers. I was breathing heavily, I was so tired, I wanted to give up. And it wasn't even six, it was about five kilometers. And now, like running six, seven kilometers, very easy. I don't even get tired. You probably know all the benefits of running. I just want to say, in the beginning, you'll probably hate running. And I used to hate it as well. At the beginning, when I started running, it was so difficult. I wasn't enjoying it. I used to hate it, like I had a lot of injuries as well, my body wasn't used to it. But slowly, 
but surely you start to enjoy it more and more as your body get used to the running and it becomes a little bit easier and easier you know you start to enjoy more and you you feel the benefit and then you just fall in love with running i saw a cartoon on a uh, reel and there was like a horse guy it was a cartoon so it was running like a, <laughs> a horse head with a human body was running and it was oh no oh so hard so hard to run and then after running for a few minutes he lays down on on the grass and then out of nowhere there comes like a shadow in front of him and it was a monkey with a human body and he he says something like it gets easier by the day but you have to do it every day and that's the hard part and i thought that's so awesome an awesome message i love seeing videos like this like motivational videos like even cartoon that encourages you gives you motivation inspires you to you know do go after your goals to dream i love those videos if you check my instagram reels or tiktok like most of the videos are inspiring and motivating content with whatever you do it will get easier even alex Hor hormozy said it once in the beginning is the hardest part and it gets easier but you have to keep on going you have to keep on doing it every day be consistent i'm sure maybe slowly but surely your time will come it will work out you will make it but the hard part is you have to keep on going you cannot give up you cannot lose enthusiasm the self belief so important to believe in the path that you are on the goals and the dreams that you have otherwise you know there will be distractions there will be people who won't believe in you who will talk you out of it so it's so important to have the self belief and to believe in the path that you're on and outlast everyone and everything keep on going if you don't give up you won't fail right so you just can't give up just keep on going either you'll make it or like alex hormozy said it once either you'll make it or you die simple as that and I'm willing to try it until I die. I'm thinking decades. I don't have to have the success right now. I don't have to achieve my goals right now. I'm thinking long term. I think some people give up too easily because they are thinking very short term. Like they want to achieve their goals and dreams like in few months or even a year. If it's a worthwhile goal, it will take time. Like every successful people will say the same thing. It will take time. You have to think long term, think decades instead of thinking just a few months. So patience is very important. Consistency is very important. Self-belief is very, very important. If you can master those, I'm sure you will live a fulfilling life. Even if like the worst case scenario, you don't make it, but you will be happy with your life because you followed your true purpose, your true passion. You, you will have a meaningful life, a fulfilling life. You went after what you truly wanted. You will be proud of yourself. I'm sure you will be proud of yourself for following your genuine curiosity, being authentic, and just truly going after what you want, being courageous enough to go after what you truly want. A lot of people don't even dare to go after their true goal or true dream that they have in life. Something that they truly want to do, but they let other people's opinion or the risk hold them back from not living their life to the fullest. So I encourage you to live authentically. Do something and I think it will be worth it to go after what you truly want, the goals that you have, the dream that you have, whatever it is, the passion, the purpose, just go after it. Just do it. Just start now. Don't wait for the perfect time. The perfect time is now and 
Just start, you'll figure it out along the way. You will not have regret later. I'm sure of it. That's it, I'm just sharing my experience and my thoughts. Something that I'm intentionally pursuing. I'm on my path to achieving my goals and dreams that I have. I'm doing something that I truly love. I've been doing this for years and I'm not really seeing any results, but I'm enjoying the journey. I'm enjoying the process. I believe in the process, the path. I'm sure my time will come. That's the self-belief that I have and I'm not letting other people's opinion or the setbacks hold me back and distract me. And I'm keeping the fire inside me alive. I'm making sure that the flame is still burning, you know, the fire inside you. That's very important. Very important, having self-belief and the belief in the path that you're on. That's why they say journey before destination. The journey is very important. If you don't enjoy the journey, if you don't embrace the journey, you will give up very quickly. It's kind of like a advice to myself as well, actually. I always try to remind myself that. And, you know, I always say like, I am my best hype man or my best friend. You know, someone who is a true friend, who is very supportive, who, who is hard when he needs to be hard or strict, and who is very inspiring and motivating as well. I'm sure like you can motivate and inspire yourself. Talking to yourself, I think it's very important. <laughs> uh, just, I don't know, I'm truly passionate about this topic. And I want people to live their life to the fullest, like living life intentionally and going after what they truly want and just following their dreams and goals. <laughs> yeah. Just wanted to share that. Just believe in yourself and believe in the path that you're on. Keep working hard, don't give up. We'll make it, our time will come. All right, so it's currently 9.30. I was editing the whole time and just finished uploading. So that's good. The only thing I still need to do is meditate. So let's just do that. All right, so just finished with meditating. Ah, oh, so relaxing. I think it's good to meditate in the evening. Then your body and mind is relaxed. You know, it helps with falling asleep. Overall, today was a great day. It was a successful day, productive day. I had a great workout, I had a great run, uploaded the vlog. Yeah, overall, it was a great day. I'm happy with the day. Looking forward to tomorrow. All right, that's it. If you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one call with me, there's a link in the description below where I can help you with personalized questions around self-improvement, YouTube, mindset, whatever. Just click on the first link in the description and I'm looking forward to it. All right, that's it. Have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow for day 10 of the 75 Heart Challenge. Peace.